Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you four things that rich people do differently. There's a big difference in the way that a person that is rich acts compared to a person that is not rich. So with that being said, I'm going to be outlining four things that rich people do differently than people that aren't rich, plain and simple. Let's get right to it. Number one, they sacrifice and focus on the long game. Someone that doesn't plan on being rich or someone that is not destined to be rich or that will not be rich in the future will earn their money and will pay for something to escape from their daily life. So they'll, they'll earn a, a small amount of money and they'll spend a good amount of their savings on a vacation. The whole vacation industry is based on the middle class. Believe it or not, people think that rich people travel a lot. They don't. Rich people travel a lot when they're rich. They don't travel a lot when they're trying to get rich. So the difference is that they will sacrifice and focus on the long game. Some Someone that will be rich will sleep on a mattress on the floor with seven roommates for five years while saving all of their money and paying the smallest amount for housing. Whereas someone that is not going to be rich will rent something for a super expensive amount that they can't afford or lease a crazy sports car that they can't afford. Rich people sacrifice to the extreme and focus on the long game, okay? That's the first thing that they do. Number two. They work hard and smart. So someone that works 80 hours a week at $15 an hour is a hard worker. But then a rich person will work 80 hours a week at $15 an hour to start. But when they get to 30 bucks an hour, they're not gonna cut down their hours to 40 hours a week like most people would. When most people would go double their wage, they'd cut their hours in half or virtually half. Okay, a rich person will still work the same number of hours, okay? A rich person, when they get to $60 an hour, which is four times the original wage that I was talking about, will still work 80 hours a week. They will not cut their hours down to a quarter of the original hours, which would be 20 hours a week. They continue to work hard even as they are working smart, okay? That's what rich people do differently. They don't lose that grind inside of them. They don't care how much money they make. They want to make more. That's why they keep working harder. It's what they do differently. Number three, rich people make their money work for them. So once again, someone that is not going to be rich, I don't want to call them poor, but someone that's not going to be rich will earn money and if they get a $20,000 raise, they'll spend $18,000 more next year. So they'll spend money, they'll spend extra money that they're earning. They won't invest the money to make the money work for them. A rich person, if they get a $20,000 raise, will invest $18,000 and spend an extra two grand to treat themselves to something small. That extra $18,000 the next year might earn them an extra two grand just in interest if they invested in a decent fund give or take, 1,500, two grand interest, whatever. They're gonna make money in interest, okay? And that money that they made in interest, they're gonna reinvest. And guess what? The extra $20,000 reason they got the following year, they're gonna invest most of it again. They keep doing this over and over and over and over again. They make their money work for them. Their money is like little soldiers. Their money, their dollars are like little employees that come back with more money. They send those employees out and they come back with more money. They invest their money properly. They don't take crazy risks, but they also don't just stay in a very, very, very risk-free zone. They take small, educated risks. They research before they risk any amount of money, and when they risk it, it's because they're investing it in something that they know is going to make them, almost certainly, going to make them a good amount of money. Last but not least, number four, they surround themselves with other people that are good for their overall wealth health and well-being so people that aren't rich if they have a loser friend they're still gonna stay friends with them because they feel bad for them or because their friendship is too valuable and I'm not saying friendship isn't valuable but if you hang out with a loser guess what you're gonna be a loser if you hang out with four people that are broke you're gonna be the fifth so with that being said someone that's rich if they have a friend that's a loser they're not gonna per se let them go or dump them as a friend they're still going to maintain a decent acquaintance with them but they're not going to hang out with them they're not going to talk to them every day because they know that they're going to bring them down listen friends are awesome whether they're rich poor anywhere in between healthy unhealthy friends are awesome to have but the people that you associate with are going to greatly influence you you're going they're going to greatly greatly influence you so with that being said if you want to be wealthy 
you have to learn to make the sacrifices in the forms of building your inner circle of friends and family members that are super valuable to you. I'm not saying you have to stop talking to someone outright and you know, never talk to them again if they don't meet those needs, those wealth needs for you or the, those well-being needs for you. But you know what? You have to make the hard decision, which is definitely moving them to an acquaintance and bringing your inner circle of friends to be the people that are going to help you build your wealth, your health, your love, your happiness, your overall well-being. If someone's not helping you, they're holding you back. So that's the fourth thing and that's probably, believe it or not, the hardest thing to do. Because friends are valuable and they mean a lot to you, but at the end of the day, if they're not gonna help you grow in one way or another in your life, they're holding you back. So I would move them to an acquaintance and build your inner circle of friends to be those people that help you. They don't have to be rich, they just have to help you move forward in one way or another in life. And that's basically it. Those are four things that rich people do differently. Many people think that rich people work out every day. They do oftentimes, but a lot of people work out every day. Even people that are broke work out every day. So that's not something that rich people do differently. A lot of people say rich people work hard. A lot of people work hard. It's not something that rich people do differently. In this video, I wanted to focus on four things that really differentiate the majority of rich people from the majority of people that aren't rich. Those are the four differentiating factors and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And that's all I have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.